Hey, what's up guys, Exaltech here. In this video, I've got you a new helpful app named Comatin, which consists of various modules in it, nearly 13 modules to bring brand new features to your Android device so that you can get some of the custom room features on your Android device without rooting it. And this app can be really helpful to you. So the first module available in this app is the ambient display module, which brings the feature nearly equal to the always on display feature available on Samsung Galaxy devices so that you can manage your notifications even when your screen is turned off. And you can get more information at a glance by using this feature and let me show you a sample of it. So likewise, you can manage all your notifications, see what's the time, the calendar, weather and more information at a glance without turning your screen on. The next module available is the app locker. Some devices have built an app locker in it but some devices lack it. So in order to manage app locking in such devices, we have app locker module within this app itself and this supports biometric authentication too. Say for instance, let me lock the settings app on my device to show you a sample. So when I open that locked app now, it will ask me to verify my biometric authentication in order to proceed further. So this can really be helpful if your device lacks the app locking feature in it by default. The next module available is the beta rotation, which is my most favorite one in this app. And this module allows you to use your device in any orientation in 360 degrees such that you can use your phone upside down too in order to hide that ugly notch in your phone if it has one. This module forces each and every app installed on your device to have a full screen orientation even if the app do not support. So here is the YouTube Studio app which generally don't support the landscape orientation but this module helps me to use that app too in the landscape orientation. So this can be a really most helpful feature found in this app. The next module available is the caffeine. Say for instance you are watching a movie overnight and forget to turn off your device and fall asleep so that your phone will be facing heavy battery drain. So in order to avoid it, this module will help you to turn off your device after a specific time. Say if you set the time as 2 hours, just after 2 hours even if you forget to turn off your device, your device will be turned off automatically so that you can avoid battery drain by using this module. The next module available is the Comatin Sync which is similar to that of the Your Phone app made by Microsoft. So this module helps you to manage all your phone's notification, text and each and everything on your phone right on your PC itself. But this requires the Comatin desktop app to be installed on your PC. So check out the link in the description to download and install it on your PC. The next module available is the darker brightness which will help you to go beyond the minimum brightness level of your device to use it in any dark environment without causing troubles to your eyes. So this will be creating an overlay on your screen to reduce the glare of the screen and will help you to use it in any dark environment. And this goes beyond the minimum brightness level of the screen and let me show you. Well, the screen is completely dark which will help you to protect your eyes when you're using your phone during nights or in any dark environment. The next module available is the flip to ish feature which helps you to turn on the do not disturb mode on your device without entering into the quick settings but just by a simple gesture when you flip your phone down to a flat surface your phone will be entering into the DND mode automatically and let me show you a sample. When I flip my device down towards a flat surface the DND mode is turned on automatically and this can be identified by a small vibration on the device and when I take it back again it is disabled, so simple, but there is a time lag of nearly 4 to 5 seconds for this to toggle on automatically. The next module available is the hide headset. So this module will be really helpful to you if you want to focus only on the app that you use and don't want any distractions on the screen while using any app. So now I have enabled this module and this time when I'm receiving a notification I don't get any heads up but that can be found only on the notification panel of my device. The next module available is the immersive mode module which will help you to use any app on your device in full screen mode hiding that status bar and the navigation buttons on your device if you have that. 
and let me show you a sample of it. So just like that, hiding the status bar and the navigation button, I can get a full screen interface on my device by using this module. The next module available is the Parallel, which is similar to the dual apps feature found on some devices. And this will be helpful to do app cloning and you can use the same app with two different accounts. And this can be really helpful if you are a dual SIM user. The next module available is the pocket mode, which will help you to prevent accidental touches when you have your device in your pocket. This remap assistant module can help you to remap the button or the gesture which you use to open the device assistant app for your device, maybe the Google Assistant or the Bixby or Alexa or whatever it may be. Instead of opening those device assistant apps, the button or the gesture which you use to open them can be remapped to launch an activity or perform the operations of the hardware buttons on your device or just simply launch an app. So now I'm remapping it to open the YouTube studio on my device. So this can be really helpful. The last module available is the shake actions module. On some Motorola devices, either the camera can be open or the flashlight can be turned on just by shaking the device. So this module brings the similar feature to any Android device. So this shake action can be used to open an app or launch a specific activity or just perform the operations of hardware buttons on your device. So say, let me open the YouTube app by shaking the device. And now, boom, just in a second, just by shaking the device, the app is open. Check out the link in the description to download this app for your device. So hope you like this video. Thanks for watching. A sub to the channel will be massively appreciated. I'll see you in the next one.